go through a couple of single leg variations of the bench bridge or the hip thrust. Uh, if you'd like the full uh, video of the hip thrust, go and search that out. That gives some great pointers and reasons why it's a great exercise. So we'll get right to it. Again, making sure that you've got a platform that's stable and uh, sturdy, but um, a little bit of padding on top because you will be pivoting on that back. So placing the bench at a mid to low T-spine for this variation and elbows here pivoting. Now, um, as opposed to the original bench bridge, I will encourage you to have a more narrow stance because we will be going to a single leg. Um, we do want at the top of the movement to have that shin perpendicular to the floor that increases the glute activation if that is your motivation. So for the first version, we're gonna do an eccentric load of a single leg bridge. So we're gonna come up together, nice high extension, again, slight posterior rotation of the pelvis to encourage glute activation. Then you're gonna lift up a leg and then lower down with one. So up together, lower down with one. This is lifting up or concentrically going up together, and then the eccentric load is coming down with one leg. That's variation one. Variation two is doing both the concentric and eccentric movement with one leg. So coming up, again ensuring nice um, high hip extension, um, nice glute activation at the top, and then lowering down. Up, and lowering down. And we can switch. A little bit of a head, uh, chin tuck and head forward, eyes forward, to encourage that posterior rotation of the pelvis, and going through that full range of motion with that single leg. 